Flora Finch Biography Flora Finch, June 17, 1867, January 4, 1940, was an English-born Bodevillian, stage and film actress who starred in over 300 silent films, including over 200 for the Vitagraph Studios Film Company. Unfortunately, the vast majority of her films from the silent era are currently classified as lost. Early Life and Career Finch was born into a music hall and traveling theatrical family in London and was taken to the United States as a young child. She kept up the family tradition and worked in theater and the vaudeville circuit right up until her 30s. She had her first film roles at the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company starting in 1908. There she worked with Fatty Arbuckle, Max Sennett, with whom she was reportedly involved romantically for a short time, Charlie Chaplin, and other leading performers and producers of the silent era. Work with John Bunny and later career. Starting in 1910 at Vitagraph, she was paired with John Bunny for the first of 160 very popular shorts produced between 1910 and 1915. Those shorts, known as Bunny Graphs, Bunny Finches, and Bunny Finch Graphs, established Finch and Bunny as the first popular comedy team in films. The duo became a short-lived trio when Mabel Normand arrived at the studio. After Bunny's death in 1915, Finch continued to make comedy shorts, but with less success. She started her own production company in 1916, and released a film with the company the following year, but was never able to regain her popularity. One of her best-known roles in the later silent years was Aunt Susan and Paul Lenny's The Cat and the Canary, 1927. She found film work in the sound era, although predominantly in small supporting parts. The Scarlet Letter, 1934, gave her one of her more substantial roles in sound films, and she had a cameo in one of Laurel and Hardy's best-known features, Way Out West, 1937. Her last film was The Women, 1939. Death Finch died in 1940 at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Los Angeles from blood poisoning. She was taken to the hospital after... A streptococcus infection followed an accidental cut to her arm. The infection spread beyond control and the actress lapsed into a coma from bronchial pneumonia. At the time of her death, she was working as a stock player at Metro-Goldwyn-Myers Studios.